पंजीय शिक्षकगण आदरणीय महाजनों मारा वड़ीलो स्नेहीजनों मित्रों मरा वाला विद्यार्थी मैं खूब आनंद है कि आज मैं मार वतन में आवा मौको मैं वतन एट्ले एक एवं जगह ज्या मणस थैंक यू बोलते नहीं ज्या हाथ मिलावत नहीं सीधो भेटी पड़े आज हूँ ये वतन में आयो छु ज्या रही ने मार पूर्वजों समृद्ध था जेनी माटी में रमी ने मोटो थो छू ए वतन की माटी ने वंदन खमतीदर बनासकाठा धरती ने वंदन धर्म नो खो अर्थ समझना मारा गाम थराद ने वंदन जे मारु मौसाल छे ये अत्तरनी नगरी पालनपुर ने सलाम मित्रों अपनी माता मतृभाषा और मतृभूमि ये त्रेना ऋण में थी मणस कदा मुक्त ना थी सके वतन ऋण चूकवा महाजनों पालनपुर में विद्या मंदिर की रचना करी आज विद्या मंदिर नाम कोहिनूर की जेम बदेज रोशन थी रू भनेलाक विद्यार्थी दुनिया में नामना मेलवी ने पालनपुर नाम ने उजलू बनाव विद्या मंदिर ट्रस्ट पाया में मतमर प्रदान करना दरक ट्रस्टीगण ने प्रणाम तमाम दाताओं ने नमन विद्या मंदिर तना पंचोतेर वर्ष पूरा कर गौरवनी बात ये कि जैन शिशुशाला ने सौ वर्ष पूरा थे मार तरफ थी दरेक ने खूब खूब अभिनंदन आज जय हूँ आ तेरे पचास वर्ष पहलाना मरा बालपण दिवसों ने वगोल तो तो मतृभूमि में पाचा आवा बने तो ये फीलिंग्स जुदी हो विद्यार्थी मित्रों आज हूँ थोड़ी एवं बात करूँ छू जेना विषे तब कोई नहीं जाता आ मार बालपण स्टूडेंट लाइफ की बात है हूँ थराद ना वतनी मारू मौसाल पालनपुर हूँ छ वर्ष ना तो तर अमे डीसा में रहवा मरा कजिन्स आज स्कूल विद्या मंदिर में भेला मार फाधर डीसा में मा, मलनपुर में वायदा वेपार मैं बराबर याद है कि हूँ दर महीने डीसा थी पालनपुर अवरनवार पालनपुर में खोड़ा लीमड़ा में अमरु जूनू घर अने पी वडिल गंज बजार पास संस्कार सोसायटी में नव मकान बनालो ए टाइमें लक्ष्मीपुरा रेलवे फाटक पासना मैदान में अगर सर्कस जवाता एक थिटर तुम सीटी लाइट्स त्या अगर बदा कजिन्स पिक्चर जो जाता कीर्ति स्तंभ पास आइसक्रीम की फेक्टरी में रेग्युलर जता दिल्ली दरवाजा पास गोटीवाली सोड़ा मजा लेता मोटी बजार में 
ભીખાબેની લારી ઉપર કચોરી ખાતા અને અને પિકનિકમાં બાલારામ પણ જતા અને ત્યાં મંદિરની પાસે પાડમાંથી નીકળતી નદીના ઝરણોના ધોધ અને એના પાણીમાં નાતા મિત્રો મારા જીવનના યાદગાર દિવસો મેં અહીં ગાળ્યા છે હું અગિયાર વર્ષનો થયો ત્યાં સુધી ડીસામાં રહ્યો મારા ઘડતરમાં બનાસકાંઠાનો ખૂબ જ મોટો ફાળો છે હવે આજે હું તમારી વચ્ચે આવ્યો છું મારી જર્ની વિશે વાત કરવા માટે કારણ કે હું માનું છું કે ભારત આજે એવા તબક્કે આવીને ઊભું છે જ્યારે યંગ ઇન્ડિયા જ ભારતનું ભવિષ્ય નિર્માણ કરશે મને આશા છે તમને તમારા લક્ષ્ય નક્કી કરવામાં મારી આ થોડી ઘણી વાતો ઉપયોગી થશે my young friends studies demonstrate that the experiences a child has had by the age of 10 and the environment they live in shape their adulthood i believe that the dry and a tough living condition of banaskatha shape our social behavior they unite us through extended family bonds of trust and dependence this is evident when i see all of you here today if my childhood experiences in banaskatha shaped my social behavior my parents shaped my core values i witnessed how hard my mother worked to maintain the harmony spirit and a mutual respect within our large joint family her courage love and tenacity held our family together on the other hand my father was involved in what the bankers today describe using a sophisticated term they call it forward trades in those days these trades were just oral commitments between the two parties these commitments never failed and were my initial lessons on the power of trust as i look back i have no hesitation in saying that the tough early days i spent here with my parents and being a part of a society that stood by each other shaped my early beliefs over time these beliefs become my values and today these values of courage trust and commitment sahas vishwas ane pratibaddhata have driven every action the adani group takes as a company they are the foundation on which our group stands today my young friends let me now talk about the years that followed after my living banaskatha I moved to Ahmedabad and I spent 4 years completing my secondary education. I was just 16 years old when I chose to give up my education and move to Mumbai. In this context, a question I often get asked is why did I move to Mumbai? and not work with my family as many youngsters in the audience would agree the optimism and desire for independence of a teenage boy 
are hard to contain. All I knew was that I wanted to do something different and do it on my own. 16 years of age, purchasing a train ticket at the Ahmedabad railway stations and boarding the Gujarat Mail to Mumbai with nothing much in my pocket had me both excited and nervous. Once in Mumbai, my cousin Prakash Bhai enrolled me at Mahendra Brothers where I started to learn the, to assort the diamonds. I quickly picked up the business and after working at Mahendra Brothers for about three years, I left to start my own brokerage in a diamond trading at a Javeri Bazaar. I remember my first company. I still recall the day I did my first trade with a Japanese buyer, I made a commission of rupees 10,000. I don't know how much money is going to be. I don't know how much money is going to be. I don't know how much money is going to be. I don't know how much money is going to be. I don't know how much money is going to be. This was the start of my journey as an entrepreneur. Another question I often get is if I have any regrets that I did not go to college. Reflecting on my life and the different turns it took, I now do believe that I would have benefited if I had finished college. Let me explain. While my early experiences made me wise, I now realize that a formal education rapidly expands one's knowledge. Anubhav, manas ne samjana ape che, sikshan, manas ne gnyan ape che. To acquire wisdom, one must experience, but to acquire knowledge, one must study. These are two complementary. And although I will never really know, I do reflect at times that the expansion in my abilities may have been a faster had I gone to college. The fact is, over the years, my respect for education has only grown as I see what the many highly educated professionals have done for the Adani group. My young friends, first generation entrepreneurs mostly start with a unique advantage. The advantage of having nothing to lose. This belief is their strength. In my, my, in my own mind, this was liberating. I had no legacy to follow, but I had the opportunity to create a legacy. I had nothing to prove to anybody, but had an opportunity to prove to my own self that I could rise. I had nothing to risk by jumping into uncharted waters. I had no expectations to fulfill 
except those of my own. These beliefs become a part of me. I believe I am what I am because I never over-evaluate or overthink the choices in front of me. I personally find this aspect the most liberating and this liberation is what makes me an entrepreneur. Going, to, going back to my own journey, just as I was turning nine, 19 and settling down in Mumbai, my life took another interesting turn. I was called back by my elder brother Masuk Bhai to help him run a small-scale PVC film factory which we had acquired at Ahmedabad. We used to procure imported raw materials. It was a tough business. In those days, PVC film manufacturing faced great scarcity of raw materials, given all the import restrictions. I would tell others that trying to run a small-scale business that was handicapped by our regulations was like a rowing a boat on sand. Eu kahama jharayati sakti na thi ke reti maaj vahan ankar vahan hoatu. But it is only those that row on sand that are best prepared to reach the vast oceans. And my first real break came in the year 1985. This happened following the general elections, which see Rajiv Gandhi becoming the prime minister of the country and liberalizing the import policies. By high, I had no trading experience. I took advantage of the opportunity to move swiftly to establish our trading organizations. We started import importing polymers to supply to the raw materials deprived so many small-scale industries. This move laid the initial foundation of the global trading business I was soon to build. Crisis and opportunities often go hand in hand. Jindagi ma opportunity satsat tamari aspasa jo aise jarur aise matra ene parakhwani ane samay sir tak jad pi lewani in 1991 India was going through its worst foreign exchange reserve crisis. We were, as a nation, down to less than 10 days of our foreign exchange reserves. It was then that Sri P. V. Narsirao, the Prime Minister and his Finance Minister, Dr. Manmohan Singh Ji, announced a series of bold decisions including a dramatic depreciation of, of the rupee to boost the exports. Here again, I made an immediate decision and moved swiftly to establish a full-fledged global trading house dealing in polymers, metals, textiles, and agro-products. We became 
the largest global trading house in the country within just two years. I had turned 29 and a full appreciation of the value of two dimensions. That would define everything we did. Scale and speed. Till now, we had a primarily focus on trading. And it was in 1994, we decided that it was the time to launch our IPO and hence Adani Exports, which is now called Adani Enterprise, went public. The IPO was a great hit. It came in a strongly at a 14 times premium over the face value. Prior to this, I had known very little about public markets, but now I had become a fully confident of my learning abilities. I could have taken things easy with this success, but I realized that we are starting to be compared to asset less financial type companies and this was hurting the confidence of the investors. While trading business is about short term profit and loss, infrastructure is about capital intensive but a long term play. Not only are these two different types of businesses, but they also require completely different mindsets. It is then that I realize the real value of company lies in creating assets. This was the phase when we shifted from being just traders to being asset builders. This was to be one of the most cr critical choices we would ever make. Over the years, I have realized you may not always be able to time things right, but your tenacity can write time things, and our three break was the result of a series of our right time opportunities. And the opportunity came in 1995 when the Gujarat government decided to develop its coastline. It was around this time that a global commodities trader, Cargill, approached us with a proposal to source the salt produce across the Kutch coastline. To cut a long, interesting story short, the partnership did not proceed. But we were left with about 40,000 acres of a marshy land to harvest salt and an approval to build a captive jetty at Mundra for the export of salt. Following the formalizations of the POTS policies, the Gujarat government chose us as their partner to build out a full-fledged commercial port in Mundra. Vajnani konu kehu che ke bamro udva maate aksam che pan bamro te vaathi ajan che ane tena maate te udi sake che. Ame pot banava vise 
ਤਾਂ ਹੀ ਜਾਣਤਾ ਨਤਾ ਕਦੀ ਪੋਟ ਬਿਜ਼ਨਸ ਨੂੰ ਇਕੜੋ ਪਰ ਨਤੋ ਗੁੰਚੋ ਕਦੀ ਕੋਈ ਇੱਕ ਕੰਸਟਰਕਸ਼ਨ ਪਰ ਕਰਿਓ ਨਾ ਤੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਈਟ ਪਰ ਕਦੀ ਚੜੀ ਨਾ ਤੇ ਅਨ ਇਹ ਤੋ ਵਿਸ਼ਾਲ ਪੋਟ ਬਣਾਵਾਨੂ ਹਤੂ ਐਂਡ ਫਰੈਂਡ ਦ ਰੇਸਟ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਹਿਸਟਰੀ ਮੁੰਦਰਾ ਬਨਿਓ ਹਮਾਰੀ ਕਰਮ ਭੂਮੀ ਦ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਓਪਰਚੁਨਿਟੀ ਕੁਇਕਲੀ ਫਾਲੋਡ ਵੈਨ ਦ ਗੁਜਰਾਤ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਅਨਾਉਂਸ ਦ ਐਸੀਜਰ ਪਾਲਿਸੀ ਇਨ 2005 the marshy land around our port that was considered useless now become an asset and we again grabbed this opportunity we moved quickly to convert the land originally allocated for salt box into the country's largest multi product acid ad supported by a world class infrastructures including ports railway airports roads and water networks mara balpan ma ek var school ma thi amne kanla port picnic ma lai gaya tha tyare me zindagi ma पहली बार कोई पॉट जो होती आ बात नो अई उल्लेख करवानो कारण ये छे के मने एम लागे छे के नानपण मा साची अने सारी वस्तुओ ना मन मा पडेला बीज आगल जता योग्य वातावरण मले तो विराट संभावना नो कारण बनी सके छे विद्यार्थी काल मा जोवा एटलु जोजो परा एटलु फरो वंचा एटलु वाचो करेलु क्यारे एले जतु नथी हमेशा उगी निकले छे टुडे आई कैन कॉन्फिडेंटली से दैट द रियल ग्रोथ ऑफ मुंद्रा इज जस्ट स्टार्टिंग it now holds the potential to become one of the world's top integrated industrial park in a years to come my young friends tenacity and opportunities are two wheels that cycle together and it is the tenacity that give us the, that confidence to step into unknown waters and in this waters often exist the largest of opportunities the more you complete these cycles the more your confidence and ability to make a bigger bats and the bigger the bats you successfully execute the stronger is your confidence and ability to make even bigger bats it is our adoption of these principles that has led to the outcome of the adani group being able to continue his journey of hyper growth and today we are the world largest solar power company we will be the world largest renewable company by 2030 we are the largest 
airport operator in India with a 25% of passengers traffic and a 40% of air cargo. We are the largest ports and logistics company in India with a 30% of our national market share. We are the largest integrated energy player. We span electricity generation, transmission, and distributions, LNG, and LPG terminals, city gas, and a pipe gas distributions. We are the country's second largest cement manufacturers. We are the highest valued FMCG company following the IP of Adani Wilmar. We have declared our path forward in a new sectors that include data centers, super apps, industrial clouds, aerospace and defense, metals and petrochemicals. Our market cap is at over $225 billion and has grown faster than any company ever in India. My young friends, India will be the land of a massive opportunity over the next 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. A democracy whose time has come cannot be stopped, and India's time has arrived. This is your new India, and this is your time. Our country is and will increasingly be a land full of incredible opportunities. The Adani Group is just one manifestation of India's entrepreneurship success story. I started this journey when I was just 16. I learned that while the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. It is rare that any entrepreneurship journey is able to follow this straight line. Entrepreneurship is about sometimes getting lost, sometimes falling. But every time I was lost, Every time I fell, I was still able to find my way back. I was still able to get up. It is this desire to be back on your feet that defines an entrepreneur, and it defined me. I firmly believe that India holds the potential to build 100 Adani groups, and there could be no better place than India to be an entrepreneur today. What we do in the short term will look like a marathon. What we achieve in the long run will look like a sprint. Therefore, in closing, I would like to leave you with some of my thoughts that I hope you keep in mind. You will be in your prime when India is in its own prime. And India will be in its prime because you will be in your prime. This is the time for you to dream big. You are India's future, and no future is made by incremental thinking. As an entrepreneur, I can only tell you that in the days to come, 
as you go into the new India, you must never be in a situation where you are disappointed by the things that you did not dare to do. Spread your wings and be like the kites of this Uttarayan. Remember, kites always rise, not with the wind, but against it. Fly, explore, dream, discover. Darek Manas ne tamanna unche jamani pragati karwani hoye chhe. Pan jo vijanaj patang upar sattad dhyan hoye, to potano patang braba na chage. खरो पतंग बाज ते पोतानी पतंग ऊपर जा केंद्रित करें छे अने ऑपरचुनिटी ऑपरचुनिटी नो पावन कई दिशानों छे ते बराबर पार के जो be grateful humility is the biggest strength an individual can have Humility is not thinking less of yourself. It is thinking of yourself a little less. And a humility comes from reading, studying, and listening. These attributes teach us how little we actually know. Therefore, put your heart and soul into your learning and studies. Learn all you can. You will never regret it. The day you stop learning, you start losing your humility. Vinamratani kinna बराबर माध्या वगर कोई पतंग ना चगे। The search for success will come at a price. The greatest success is never in not falling, but is in your ability to rise after every fall. This strength will be the signature of your resilience. Darek Patan Pathi, Agal Vadhwani Kshamta, A Takat, Tamari Stiti Stapaktani Sabiti Apeche. Patangone Chagu, Kapau, Ito Chalyat Karse, is a part of game. Mahatvanu Chhe, Dori par tamaro kabu. And finally, learn to develop empathy. Empathy binds humility. Empathy gives hope to humanity. Empathy gives purpose to humanity. The great gift of being human is that we have the power of empathy. In this context, the most significant day in my life was the 24 June last year. It was the day I turned 60. The significance was less about turning 60 but more about the decision my family made to contribute rupees 60,000 crores to the Adani Foundation for enhancing <laughs> healthcare, education, 
and skill development all across India. Therefore, the best way each of you can make Vidya Mandir proud is to ensure that you allow you align your sense of purpose with your sense of a compassion. My young friends, I hope my journey inspire you to want to be 100 times of what I have been fortunate to be able to achieve. It is not about one Gautam Adani. Our dream must be to produce hundreds of Gautam Adanis from this very land. If I, as the son of this very land, could have learned to fly high, you can fly much higher. Sapnaona Akasma Tamari Safaltano Patang Unche Unche Chade Evi Tamne Saune Soup Kam now. All the best and Jahin.